I just saw Madam Web, so hopefully now you don't have to. <laughs> that was one of the worst movies I've ever seen. I literally just got back from the theater like 30 seconds ago. I came right back in and I'm going to make this video before I forget anything because once I make this video, I'm deleting all of those memories from my brain. I never want to think about it again. That was it might be the worst movie I've ever seen. It very well might be. I'm 25 years old and I've been seeing movies for as long as I can remember. And this is the first time that I ever even thought about just getting up and leaving in the middle of the movie. Like I've seen bad movies before, but never to the point where I'm like, I really could just get up and leave. And it's not like I had high expectations for this movie because I had seen people give reviews and it's already in the Sony verse and that shit is just ass. Look at Morbius if you need any examples. But this was worse than I could have expected. It was worse than Morbius. I, I didn't even know that was possible. But damn, let's talk about the actual movie. And before we do that, please make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. It will help my page out a ton. I'm trying to grow and get monetized. Um, And you guys liking and doing all that would help me out a lot. So thank you. This Madam Web review will have spoilers in it, but I'm going to be honest with you. The spoilers don't matter at all because the plot of this movie does not matter at all. Don't go see it. And if you don't go see it, I promise you me talking about it isn't going to make it any worse for you. All right. So I want to start this review off by talking about the most frustrating part of this movie. They straight up lied to us in the trailer. Like I'm telling you the branding and everything for this movie was straight up lies. Maybe it was a misunderstanding on my part, but I was of the understanding that it was going to be about Madam Web and these three spider girls who are going to be in their super suits, using superpowers, doing super things on their cool spider shit. That couldn't be further from the truth. The only time we get to see the girls use power, the girls didn't even have powers for the movie, first of all. They didn't even have powers. The only time we saw them use their powers was in a 10 second vision from the future that the bad Spider-Man had. That's it. So I'm watching the whole movie through going, huh, I wonder when these girls are going to get their powers. And they just never did. It was the dumbest shit ever. And then that's another thing. The whole time, evil Spider-Man was trying to kill these girls because he had a vision of the future. And in this vision, these three girls kill him in the future. So that's why he's trying to kill them to avoid him dying. They weren't the ones that killed him. What the fuck was the point? of y'all showing us how he's gonna die and what the future's gonna be if that wasn't even it. The shit ended with her, with Madam Web saying, oh yeah, those girls aren't the ones who end you, or whatever the fuck she said, it's actually me. Then what was the point of this whole shit? I don't, oh my God, bro. The way there's so many plot holes and inconsistencies like that, it's like six people each wrote a section of the movie without talking to each other. So one person just wrote this and the next person was like, hey, fuck that. We're going to do this instead. I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't, I don't get it. Also, I don't know who wrote the dialogue for this movie, but it was incredibly bad. It was all very, very cliche, very easy. It was like AI wrote the script and the dialogue was so bad. It seems like in post-production, they went back to try to make changes to what the actors were saying. But you can very visibly see that the words were redug. So they so you can hear the actor saying something, but their lips are clearly saying something completely differently. Like imagine you're watching a Korean or Japanese movie dubbed in English where the lips are speaking another language, but we hear them saying something, and it's very, very distracting when you're like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Why aren't their lips synced up at all? It just makes the movie feel even more sloppy and poorly put together than it already felt is just having part of the movie experience me trying to figure out what the fuck they're even trying to say or why they aren't saying what they're actually saying. It, it was bad. And while we're talking about dialogue, let's just talk about the overall lack of subtlety in this script. There's a point in the movie where a pigeon flies and hits the window and dies. And then, you know, Madam Web gets set back in time and she decides to open the window so that way the pigeon comes in and doesn't die, right? Just from the way I explained it to you, you very clearly understand that the future can be changed. So why did she have to say it to us? Immediately afterwards, she goes, the future can be changed. We know that. 
we we didn't need you to tell that that wasn't necessary for you to point that out to us and the amount of times they felt like they had to say ben parker his whole name so we knew that that's uncle ben it was ridiculous it was as if they thought that we wouldn't be able to figure it out the first time they weirdly put it in the middle of the script oh i don't want to hold that picture can you hand it to ben parker oh wow what's it like being a uncle ben parker thank you so much for picking me up ben parker i don't know what i would do without you what the fuck are y'all doing we know it's uncle ben you don't have to force it in like that there were just a billion moments like that where they felt like we weren't gonna get it if y'all didn't explicitly state it six to seven times. And the script was really bad, but it's not like the actors helped. You could very clearly tell that Dakota Johnson just did not want to be there at all because her acting was on 0% the whole movie through. Because I know the issue isn't that these people don't know how to act, because I've seen them in other movies before, but it was like they just chose not to. It's like they saw the script, realized it was garbage, and were like, you know what, we're just going to get through this for the sake of a check, because that's, that's all that movie was. Speaking of the actresses, I've never seen this actress before, but Celeste O'Connor, how is that not China Ann McClain? She looks exactly like China Ann McClain. Trust me, when I was a kid, I watched a lot of Ant Farm, I watched a lot of Black Lightning, China Ann McClain, you can't fool me, I know that was you in that movie. She just didn't want that bullshit on her IMDb, so she came up with that fake name. You're not slick, Celeste. You ain't slick. There's not a ton to talk about with this movie. It was really fucking bad. I was in and out of paying attention. I was on my phone for a little bit of it. I started to doze off, kind of. Like, it was, it was just a very bad movie. Please, my biggest hope is that this review will keep you from wasting your money. Do not go see this movie. I've seen a lot of movies before. Some some movies are like so bad that you can like laugh at them or, you know, you can kind of take joy out of how bad the movie is. This isn't one of them. This isn't one of them. It's not even fun bad. It's just bad. Don't waste your money, please. Oh, and I also read a rumor that Sony has been tricking people into thinking that they're signing up for MCU movies when they're really signing up for the Sony Morbius verse movies. I don't know how much truth there is to it, but apparently Dakota Johnson thought that she was signing up to be in the greater MCU universe, you know, the one that we all know and love. But instead, she ended up in this bullshit and she didn't even know. And apparently this has happened to a couple different actors. Allegedly, Bad Bunny thought that he was joining the MCU as well. And that's why he dropped out of his project in the Sony universe. It's messy. Like, Sony, y'all out here tricking people into being part of your movies? That, that, that can never end well. And I don't know that to be fact. I'm just telling y'all what I read. But if that's what Sony is doing, god damn, they are... They are desperate, bro. And it's not even like it's working. Like, the scripts of the movies are just so bad that it doesn't matter how good the actors are. The movie is just bad. They're just bad movies. I don't know, guys. Please do not go see this movie. Uh, I would not recommend it. Zero out of ten. Don't go see it. It's potentially one of the worst movies I've ever seen. But thank you guys so much for watching this review. If you guys want to stay around and watch other content of mine, I got plenty of it. Make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I will love to see you guys in another video. Thank you all so much. I am out. Peace.